very high in the Metro Atlantic, but now a member of the Coastal Athletic Association. He is trying to get the program higher up the ranks in the CAA. It'll be Billy Kroger at Faceoff X. 67.1% this season for NJIT. Ethan Kronk for Mammoth at 62.5%. Kroger kicks it into opening space and has the opening possession in NJIT's favor. And we thank you so much for tuning in here tonight as Kroger splits a few defenders and has it in the offensive half. And Alex, we are a tough assignment in terms of trying to go up against Hank Bethel, but he's successful early on. And Mammoth on the board first. And they call that an S dodge. He makes the shape of an S with his path to the goal. Ball goal and and finishes with his right hand. Broker make it two ground balls, two face off wins to get started. Again, Kroger having a true standout campaign early on. The red shirt senior, the graduate students, he tied at one between NGIT and Monmouth, and it's the first 3 0 start in NGIT men's lacrosse history. And Two of those games, St. John's and Siena, they were down by four goals early, and then Mount St. Mary's a five-goal fourth quarter to push away late. Alex has been an NJIT team that gets stronger as the game gets further in. It's not just how fast, physical, and organized they are. It's a strong mentality from this team, no panic, even when trailing early. Well, when you play fast and you play tempo, that gives you the confidence that no lead and no deficit is big enough that you can't overcome and coach wolf preaching to his team about responding and not reacting and they've done a really good job of doing that so far this season coach wolf was the offensive coordinator for some of the best offenses this game's transfer portal that coach wolf and crew had their eyes light up he's a great fit for this njit attack his eighth goal of the season after 33 and four years with the Knights as another face-off win for Billy Kroger. The Islanders will look to keep the momentum going up by one. Next year, the Frenchman Ryan's brother, Tyler, also on the roster. He's one of the reserve goalkeepers. Both of them are sophomores from Surf City, New Jersey, by the way, of Southern Regional High as a face-off violation will give NJIT another possession. And this is where the confidence keeps building. You can win face-offs. You can showing how much he's locked in as soon as he had the step to fire from that angle he knew where he was going top shelf had a hat trick in his debut against liu but was held without a goal at princeton now two in the opening quarter Broker gonna get out the first try it's a scramble eventually picked up by the long stick for mammoth and jack Grahe. And Adam, not all face-offs are graded equal. Right there, Mammoth, they get a goal. That's what happens when you play this style. When it rains, it pours. It'll be again Ethan Kronk for Mammoth at face-off X. Billy Kroger for NJIT as the first quarter. Saw both teams with seven shots apiece. Kronk gets the face-off win, but NJIT puts the pressure right on. And Ethan Kronk going to a little bit of a counter there, a change up at the faceoff dot. He'll, he'll stay on here. And so after three in a row by NJIT, I'm at the last two to even the score. And they've had the faceoff wave go a little bit back in their favor. NJIT leading four three, but had four of the opening five. Kronk and Kroger again. And what's been a great battle so far. Kroger alertly into open space. The ball rolls to him. He gets a third ground ball so far. Ball gets knocked down. Kroger picks it back up. He needs help after the great defense by time. And a good job by Mammoth. They stuck with it after NGIT got the momentum. Now it's firmly in the visitor's side. This all-time series has been in favor of the Hawks. And Liam Brown, one of the better goalies you'll see around college lacrosse. So, Mammoth showing their precision the last couple possessions. Saving, he's going to be a big factor as this game continues, but defense is going to have to give a, 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 some tougher looks here for this Mammoth offense based on what they've been doing in the second quarter. 
and Liam Brown. This team goes as he goes. The best goaltender in the history of this NJIT program, and he's been terrific throughout his career and this season. He'll have to be big tonight. Lacewell, the junior, by the way, of Christian Brothers Academy, who's had a solid season so far this year for the Monmouth defense. Billy Kroger gets the face-off win. He got his first career goal last time out against Mount St. Mary's. Ball goes back to NJIT after Kroger momentarily lost it. Legendary work of Aaron Forster, who was drafted to Major League Lacrosse. And so we are tied at five. Billy Kroger would love another face-off win. Ethan Kronk, though, shields him off, gets the face-off win, and it's quickly back the other way by Mamet. Quick feed to Caffarelli. He scores to make it 6-5. And that was one that was right about belt level, but that was on the weak side of the stick for Liam Brown. Ty Caffarelli with his fourth of the year. Caffarelli, 31 goals last year, a Monmouth freshman record. Product of Newport Beach, California. NJIT gets the face-off win. 20 seconds left on the clock. Bowie, he's been great this season. Turnovers also a note, 12-8, but the face-off wins, 8-5 NJIT. I think uh, this is feeling very much like a 50-50 game right now. And you look at the turnovers, NJIT plus four, and then at the face-off, they're plus three. So those kind of cancel each other out. And then when you add the clearing numbers, Mammoth is perfect in the clearing game. NJIT has failed four clears. So possession advantage, like you said, evening out. NJIT just needs to be a little more efficient, a little less chaotic in their offensive sets. It is Mammoth though getting the opening face-off win and half number two. It's quarter number three. And we thank you, Steph. And now all eyes at the face-off X. Ethan Kronk's been doing a nice job of countering and getting the ball on the turf a little bit more like we see right here. Tries to shield off Kroger. And it'll be a face-off violation against NJIT. So, great start to this third quarter by fortunate series of events for the Highlanders. It looked like it kicked off his right foot, but didn't go much. And as a result, Brown really couldn't put an eye to the ball. Kronk, another face-off win. A heavy check, though, by Billy Kroger. He doesn't give up on the play, laying the wood, getting possession for NJIT. Who now really needs it. They're down their largest deficit of the game. And NJIT, they've been in this situation. The ground ball, pick up the tough ground ball, draw the attention of the defense, and Corey does the rest. It's goal number 60 in Owen Corey's career, fourth of this season. He's second in program history in goals scored. And at one point between his redshirt, junior and redshirt senior seasons, Corey had a 20 game point scoring streak. Another tough battle at faceoff X. Kicked into some open space. It'll be picked up by Baila. Islanders will try to quickly make it a one goal game. They move it around the horn, and that shot gets blocked away. Picked up by Heller. Arthur Miller was trying to get it to a one goal game. The Highlanders stay aggressive. Trail check attempt by Garrett Muscatella scenarios over the first three but so far Monmouth two of three tonight and after the Highlanders were close to seizing momentum Monmouth has at least made it even but they're up by three Kroger still having trouble Ooh, Kronk not called that was awfully close to a push but we play on shuffled pass is picked up on a hop by NJIT O'Brien has to pick it up a lot 
Alex, right now, NGIT, they're, they're going to have to make some adjustments defensively to what Monmouth is doing well. And uh, the last time they were at home here, they allowed 15 goals in the first three quarters against Siena, held the Saints without a tally in the fourth quarter, and then won in overtime. So they also have the ability to lock down late. Those New Jersey Heat, ranked second on the team in assists last year with 12, has his first goal of the season. And a three goal game with Kronk, really doing a great job in this quarter, battling at the faceoff at 11-9 through 20 faceoffs. And Ethan Kronk from right here in Ridgewood, New Jersey, transferred back to uh, New Jersey. And it's just a difficult thing to do as a defense. And Roth finds Corey, Corey does the rest. Kroger losing his cross. There's been a few casualties in that department, to say the least. So after then it's Kroger and Croft all in the open space and eventually picked up by Mammoth. Two minutes left to go, third quarter. Mammoth with as big of a lead as four in just third quarter. Bowie going about face on the shot. That might have actually nicked off the face guard of the keeper, Tommy Heller, who through close to three quarters of action uh, has a trio of saves. NJIT can't get the shot off in time after the face off win. And that means we had, an and then this feed from Sininski to Bowie with the finish. They get it back to a two goal deficit. 11-9 the score heading into the fourth and final quarter of regulation. And again, this is where the Highlanders have been at their best this season. Billy Kroger starts with a face off win. He loses the ball trying to pass away. Gets it back, then it's lost again. That ball kind of squirted off very weird. And then picked up by the Highlanders right around midfield. Baila getting the pass away, still unsettled, and eventually back towards the doorstep at Gorman. You see Gorman stick. He lets the ball bring his stick head back. No cradle. That's key when you're really up close to the net, not giving the defender time to get on your hands. An interesting statistical note of the 12 goals by Mammoth, four of them have been assisted. The nine goals by NJIT, eight of them have been assisted. So you're seeing how these, the shot, he fell on the foul through giving every last ounce of mustard on that one for his second of the game, third of the season. And now back to a two goal differential. Every time you see somebody score, the next goal becomes that much more important. Billy Kroger, that could have been a push in the back. He gets the face off win, ball on the ground, still a scramble. It has been gritty, physical, and extremely tough on face off so far tonight. It's been an exhilarating battle between Billy Kroger and Ethan Kronk. Yeah, we will have that on ESPN Plus. If it's like it was last year, they'll go down to the very final second. Billy Kroger beating this face off win. Ethan Kronk, though, making it very tough. It is a scrum time in and time out. Kroger gets the face off win. Islanders down by three, under seven. Baila looking, feeding, extra pass, and Bowie has his fifth. Not only has he reached 50 goals, but he has blown right past it now to 53 in his career. Five today, seven shots on target in seven attempts. He's been locked in tonight. Another key faceoff coming, this time Sullivan O'Brien able to get a rather clean ground ball. A Little bit of trouble here though. O'Brien gets it back. Again, it's been an adventure. Seconds after faceoff wins throughout the evening. Quarter plays somebody can make, but Miller, it was that sprinting speed and then wrapping around his right shoulder for his 11th of the season to lead the team. And all of a sudden, the Highlanders won within time, but a key face-off win 
for Ethan Kronk. And that battle continues at Faceoff X time and time. He said Bethel did it fantastically. And so 237 left. We are knotted up at 13. The Highlanders overcoming as much as a four goal deficit to tie this one up. The Highlanders last year, comebacks of three, three and five. They overcame an eight goal and a five goal deficit in losses. This year, down four early. First quarter against St. John's 5-1. They were victorious by two and then down four against Siena, a win in overtime. They were down by four in this one. And the most recent, I believe, being 10-6. But we have ourselves a hold called against Monmouth. And NJIT with possession, a chance to lead late. Trying to go to face-offs. Your answer is yes. And Billy Kroger and Ethan Kronk. Kroger 40 in white, Kronk five in blue are both back to face off X to start overtime. Both guys are gonna need some ice after this one. That whole face off unit, Beck Gosdenovich, Josh Faila on the wings for NJIT for Mammoth. Jack Gurdy is on the near side and on the far side is Terrence Lacewell. Four minutes in this first overtime period, but again, whoever scores wins. Sudden death overtime, a battle between Kronk and Kroger. Kroger had his leg held up. It'll be though a hold called against the Highlanders in possession to Mammoth to try to win it. 